Okay, so I decided to do a case study for you to sort of explain how we look at every single aspect of the way that you're living and how that ties to your fertility. This video is a little bit longer than usual, so get your popcorn and settle in. Okay, so we're going to call this person Susan um, for the sake of anonymity. And she's 40 years old. She's been trying for two years. Her doctor has done every workup. Everything seems clear, so she has unexplained infertility. She's basically taking every supplement that in any book that you read you should be taking to improve your fertility. And she thinks that she's really healthy. She wanted to do the conceivable score to find out like what the underlying causes of her fertility issues might be. Now, remember, her doctor and she think she's really healthy and that she'd have no problem getting pregnant. But when I looked at all the information, here's what I saw. She has low temperatures after ovulation. She's very fatigued. Her energy is a 5 out of 10. She doesn't get enough um, sleep at night, and she's over-exercising. She's also got gas, bloating, and sweet cravings. She kind of has a lot going on. Digestion's not working to turn food into energy, but also she's not sleeping enough. Her body is exhausted, which means she's running on adrenaline. But in addition to that, what's happening is she's doing CrossFit three times per week. So her tank is already empty, but she's draining it even further by doing exercise, which on the outside is making her look more jacked and more healthy. But in fact, it's actually draining the reserve she needs to get pregnant. We see this showing up because she's sort of blood deficient. She has one or two days of bleeding and she has very high follicular phase temperatures and almost no cervical discharge. That's what's probably contributing to the high follicular phase temperatures, the heat that's generated. Remember, blood is like a coolant and a lubricant to your body. When there's not enough of it, there'll be heat symptoms that aggravate other parts of your cycle. And in Chinese medicine, when there's no blood, you'll see a lot of PMS and cramping. We can see this in her BBT chart. It's high follicular phase temperatures, very sawtooth, which is associated with sort of like poor hormone metabolism and um, increased PMS and cramping. And if we look at her tongue, you can see it's swollen, it's pale, and there's a thick, greasy coat. All of this telling that digestion is not working. She's producing a lot of mucus in response to that, right? You don't want to be absorbing incompletely digested particles. And we can see the inflammation along the sides. So we need to do three things to improve her fertility. We need to improve digestion. We need to make more blood. We need to improve liver function. And we need to modulate stress. So now what I need to do is go and generate a report on how to fix those things. And that's what I'm going to do for her here. Hope this was helpful. And let me know in the comments if you think the case studies are helpful for you guys. I'll pin the link to the website in my comments in case you need to reach out to me. If you click the chat bot, it literally goes to my cell phone.